Oklahoma State is doing something very inventive. The question is, is Oklahoma State putting QR codes on their players' helmets? Is it genius or is it goofy? Because remember, Colorado put their IG handles on the back of their jerseys and people were like, oh my God, look at Dion with the, with the gimmicks. But in the world of NIL, gimmicks can work. Because imagine if, if you're at home and your favorite player scores a touchdown, and you pause the TV and you because you can get that QR code off the off the helmet. And you're like, no, 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 I do not want my favorite player to transfer. Here we go. Boom. 10 bucks touchdown. 100 bucks touchdown. Thousand bucks, three touchdowns today. Oh, I'm so excited. It gives the fans an immediate opportunity to gift the players money that they can't take back later when the player fumbles. <laughs> that's the thing, that's the cool part about it. And I, I actually do not hate this at all because it gives fans an instant way to be able to do it, an instant way to contribute to a player if they deem it necessary or warranted. And it gives them an opportunity for them to feel the love from their school and from the people around the school, around the program, boosters, everybody. Because remember, them used to be uh, bags that used to show up at people's doors. Uh, nice hundred dollar handshakes, you know, uh, duffel bags show up with money or or checks or however they were doing it. McDonald's bags at Tennessee. Well, now you don't have to do that. The players can literally score a touchdown and be like, scan the QR code, baby. Give me my money. Hey, I'm not mad at it. I know that old school fans and get off my lawn. People are like, oh, God, I hate it. What are, what are we doing? Don't we all like instant rewards and instant feedback? Just saying. But their head coach, Mike Gundy, he revealed last week that he told his players, y'all need to stop asking for money and focus on the season. Now, when the way that that was presented out in the media, I didn't like it. But as you realize the rest of his quote, I was like, yo, this is, this is amazing. He said, quote, I told the players, there's no negotiating now. Portal's over, all negotiation is history, and now we're playing football. Mike Gundy's 100% right. There is a time for play, and there's a time for pay. The time for pay already finished. It'll pick back up as soon as the season is over with, but there's a time for play, and there's a time for pay. And it is play time right now. So we are not talking about no NIL, we not asking for more money. I don't care if you score 16 touchdowns in one game, you break every NCAA record during the season. We are not talking about money during the season. You know when we will talk about money? Soon as the season is over with. Yep, you are the best back. You're Ollie Gordon. Guess what? We got you. We got your bread, homie. Don't worry about it. But we're not negotiating during the season. Because if we negotiate during the season and you end up getting beat out, do we need to renegotiate? No, because that will only cause more problems on your team. Earn your money on the field, players. Don't be worrying about that during the season because there's a time for play and a time for pay.